Welcome back. The Real Estate Rush, a new Redfin report showing 31% of nationwide users are looking for new metro areas to move to this year, with Phoenix, Arizona, the most popular destination. Out-of-state buyers, meanwhile, with larger budgets are edging out locals and driving up prices. Let's get into it on real estate. Joining me right now is Dallas-based real estate executive Rogers Healy. Uh, Rogers, great to have you this morning. So tell us about the trends. Where are people moving? Where do you see the big movement within the country? It's crazy. I mean, it, I think we're in the epicenter right here in Dallas. There's literally never been a better time to be in real estate, but places like Dallas, Atlanta, Houston, Phoenix, Vegas, I think anywhere where you can get a backyard and, and any kind of view, it's the wild, wild west. And we're seeing places literally in Dallas, it's like waiting for people to get an iPhone when it comes out. We have lines out the door for people seeing houses all across, you know, all sorts of price points. And the people from California moving here have increased our luxury price points, you know, pretty, pretty astronomically. It's been insane. So, so you're saying people from high tax states are moving to low-tax states. That's one of the drivers behind all the movement. What does this mean for yeah. existing homes and the price of our homes? So for the first time in 15 years, it costs less to buy a new house than a home that was previously owned. Tell me about that trend. Right. What's driving all of this? Supply and demand. I think people just want in something, right? And what we saw last year is, you know, obviously people can exist from home, but they want more of a home to exist in so they don't obviously drive themselves crazy. So I think that, you know, if there's something available right now they can move into, they're willing to overpay because right now, too, like construction costs are the highest they've ever been. Lumber is up 400%, just literally 400%. And when you hear stuff like this, people don't want to wait. So you see them going and getting into bidding wars on homes that historically would sit on the market for 60, 90 days. They're getting multiple offers the first day on the market. So, yeah, we've never seen something like this. And even like 15 years ago, it wasn't this crazy because we still have low interest rates and people are actually qualified to purchase. So it, it really is just the corner of, of crazy and crazy. And places like Dallas are really benefiting unless you're a buyer. Well, look, we always we always say money is mobile on this program. Money will move where it's treated best. You're in California sure. right now. What's going on that you see in terms of money being mobile and people, you know, seeing new policies and, and changing as a result? Yeah, I mean, look, it's it's all relative. But I mean, just in Dallas alone, we're getting almost 400 people a day moving here. And I think probably 70 percent of them are from California, San Francisco, L.A., et cetera. But, you know, California is not going anywhere. And people obviously have always wanted a good deal. And I think historically a good deal in California was just literally getting a deal but now a good deal in California might be 80 to 90 cents on the dollar, which you haven't seen in these affluent towns like San Diego, San Francisco, Los Angeles, et cetera. So, you know, it, it's all going to level out. But um, the thing about Dallas, Texas, Austin, Atlanta, these places that have just been these boom towns, we've got our new normal here. And I think that's what people have to readjust to is that once you have, you know, a flood of people moving from affluent, you know, high tax states, it changes things forever. So I, I think our new reality is going to yeah. settle in and it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, it's true. Rogers, obviously you're in Dallas, but Rob Luna, right. who's with us this morning, he's in, he's from California. Rob, jump in here. Uh, do you see moves happening in California where you are uh, to speak to what Rogers is, is telling us? Yeah, I mean, I think what Rogers is saying is definitely true for for the most part. Um, that being said, Maria, I know, I know the narrative is everyone's leaving these high uh, tax states like California, and I think that is true, but and that's mostly, though, in the upper end. Uh, so when you look at those homes in California, the starter homes, you know, four or five million dollars above, that's where you see them get a beat up, but still that million to two million dollar price range in Southern California, they're still big. So uh, I, I think you got to look at it across the board, depending on your price point. Ultra luxury, that's the time to buy. All right. Rates not Rogers, Rogers, it's great to have you this morning to uh, outline it all. Come back soon. Thank you, sir. We'll see you soon.